So don't be hating. Hi guys, I wanted to talk to you today about a little bit of something I struggle with. And, you know, one of the main reasons why I wanted to try the ketogenic lifestyle. Stay tuned. So I know a lot of people make fun of um, Amberlynn on, on uh, YouTube and they make money and stuff off of making videos about her because of her eating disorder and the fact that she has a weight loss channel and she gained weight. Well, I'm here to say, so it's, you know, everybody has their problems and nobody's perfect and she obviously needs help and doesn't know where to go. And it's a very hard thing to be stuck in that place where you want to change, but you just have trouble. You know, everybody has their outlets in life. And sometimes, you know, food is one of them. Some people go on drugs, some people drink. Not that I would recommend those things. And I wouldn't recommend overeating either or eating unhealthy constantly. But what I can say is that She's harming herself, not others, and um, the fact that she's a public figure, maybe that's that's debatable, but I think that we got to take it easy on people who are suffering from eating disorders. Okay, and there's my lunch for today. I got some tuna salad, and I got some, I have definitely taken those onions off. I forgot to ask for no onion. That's my fault, not theirs. So I'm going to make, I'm going to eat this up really fast and I'll get back to my combo with you guys just talk a little bit about um, I was talking about Amberlynn a little bit and how people are hard on her uh, but I know she does have other issues that that people point out and stuff like that and so a lot of these people are you know I don't want to call anybody names but you know they, they fabricate things but um I can be honest with you and tell you that, yes, I am, I love keto. I love the Atkins keto type, type lifestyle. I think that it's very good to have a low carb diet. Um, for me, personally, it, it just, it just helps my inflammation in my body. Um, it helps me with allergies. It helps me with, oddly enough, um, I guess that's caused from inflammation as well. I don't know. But, um... I also noticed that, uh, you know, it, it did help me a lot with, with my sugar addiction, which I still, believe it or not, am suffering from. But why is that? Because I cheat on my diet. So I'm not a perfect person, like, by any means. I'm not, like, really good at this, at sticking to a healthy diet or healthy lifestyle. But I can say that I try my best. And if I don't try, I feel like I'm going to fail. So, um, even if I do fail and I, and I, and I cheat on my diet or whatever, you know, um, I know that the, that I can always j jump back on and just do the best I can. And that's what I basically have been doing. And, um, thankfully I haven't gained any weight back, but, um, I still have a lot of weight to lose. So it's going to take some time. I think it's going to take a lot of time to, uh, lose some weight and uh, hopefully I can lose, you know, a couple of pounds. I'm praying. Yes, it's the next day. The power of the camera. Anyway, um, like I was saying, I'm trying to lose. I have to, well, not yet. I'm going to try to lose weight using the keto diet and some exercise. But as of right now, I'm so busy. I don't even have time for myself. I'm actually late for work. So... <laughs> Yeah, late for work, yay. Because I'm so busy and I don't have much time. But anyway, so what I was saying is is that like, you know, people are hard on everybody. Like I'm sure I'm gonna get some rude comments eventually, you know, saying, well, you're fat or you're stupid or, you know, there's always negative Nellies out there that are gonna try to pull you down. Um, if you're watching this and you're someone that's similar to me that has a hard time sticking to a diet, my advice is just to don't quit. Like, you know, like, okay, so you made a mistake. Forgive yourself and move on and say, no, I'm going to do this. Yeah, I made a mistake and I had cake at a birthday party. Okay, you know what? 
uh, first thing tomorrow morning, I am going to uh, make a whole bunch of eggs and I'm going to go on the egg fast. And then I'm going to go right back to eating steak dinners uh, with vegetables. I mean, you can enjoy your lifestyle on keto. It's not like you're totally deprived. The sweets, yeah, you got to get rid of them. And it's tough. So I, I think that takes time. And you can also use uh, sweeteners such as like stevia, uh, erythritol a little bit maybe. Um, there's other ones that I'm not sure about. Swerve maybe. I don't know. But I've heard of them, but I never use them. Uh, I stick to stevia. So I put stevia in my coffee and heavy cream every morning. And, excuse me, this morning I made um, a, a bunch of eggs. So I have eggs for lunch and eggs for breakfast. <laughs> I'm not on the egg fast, but I figure that the best source of protein, and it's very ketogenic, it's an easy way to stay keto. So I love you guys. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. God bless you. And, um, you know, just... I appreciate all of your, your lovely comments, and everybody's so sweet to me. Um, thank you so much. And if I get a negative person, it's like, okay, you know, my, the world's not going to end. Um, so I love you guys. God bless you. Uh, thank you for joining me on my journey. I'm going to continue this journey. Whether I win or fail, I'm going to continue and keep trying. And I'm not setting myself up for failure, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, that's why I find it so, so, I'm so compassionate towards people who are struggling, uh, cause I struggle and I'm human and I'm not perfect and I don't claim to be. So, bye. So don't be tripping.